I want to take the opportunity to talk about some major news that broke this week. We had uh, no truck series action this weekend, but there was still major news as it pertains to the series. Uh, a few days ago, we received word that Camping World's replacement uh, in terms of a title sponsor for the truck series is going to be a familiar name for the truck series. Craftsman is coming back starting next year in 2023. Of course, the tools and equipment brand had sponsored the series since its founding in 1995 through 2008. Marcus Lemonis's Camping World and Gander Branding had been the sponsor since. But last month, Lemonis announced his sponsorship would be ending as he aimed to increase the salaries and benefits for his company's employees. So, Brandon, we'll go to you first on this one. What's your reaction to the news of Craftsman and coming back for this Truck Series reunion? When I first saw the logo, Ben, I thought it was like a fan art kind of thing. You know, I, I, whoops, how all these uh, different uh, YouTube channels make their own custom series and whatnot. I thought it was just another one of those. And then I realized, oh, wait, this is from an actual news source. This is actually happening. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, the, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, it started it all. It's back. And uh, But one thing that kind of concerns me, though, is that it's under different ownership from the last time that we uh, we had it. We're, we're thankful for Marcus Lemonis and all the work he put into um, sponsoring the truck series and basically keeping it alive at times. Uh, but now we have Craftsman, which used, when it was last sponsoring the truck series, it was owned by Sears, who, you know, before the recession was doing very well. Now it's owned by Stanley Black & Decker. And you can buy a lot of their products from Lowe's. And so Lowe's has had a lot to do with Craftsman in just in the past few years, it seems. Um, but the problem with uh, Stanley Black & Decker owning Craftsman, I feel like they, they also own a lot of other brands as well. I think like brands that are just for their name's sake, they know they're going to be popular, so they acquire it. I just don't know what kind of money. Obviously, there's something good as far as nostalgia is concerned for having this as the title sponsor. But not really sure in maybe a five-year, 10-year time frame how much the sponsorship is going to hold water for the truck series. Not kind of sure what kind of money is behind it all. Um, I obviously wish it the best and hope it is uh, what the doctor ordered. And maybe it might even grow, grow their brand uh, like they intend for it to, uh, as far as the nostalgia is concerned. But just kind of skeptical about it now, kind of don't don't know what is going to come about with it, uh, given its his, its company history. Yeah, I mean, I got to agree with you, Brandon. It's, it, I don't know. It's, I mean, the nostalgia part, that is, uh, that's a big thing. And I was talking with a bunch of other people that cover the sport um, in a group chat I'm in. And basically it was like that, that sense of nostalgia is back. I don't know. I mean, it's obviously under new ownership. Obviously, Sears owned it previously, but and then 2008, they kind of got out when when Sears basically, I think that was when they really kind of filed for bankruptcy and and it kind of really started to go downhill a little bit as well as really everything else with the economy. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. I, I like it, but we'll just have to we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, from what I've heard, the truck series is going to look a lot different um, next year for if uh a certain few things happen you know casey and brandon you guys bring up a good point as well with uh you know sears and everything and the change in ownership and uh you know i, I know that obviously the economy you know really tanked in 2008 we, we were in a global recession and financial crisis and everything and you know kmart and sears and that whole division i feel like really never got back to where they were in the 90s and uh being the the great retail giants that they once were um yeah you know, I, I think back to you know, just before, you know, the pandemic hit, the final couple of Kmart stores around me uh, shutting down and closing their doors. So, uh, you know, it's, it is uh, something that I think you have to factor in here of this new ownership. You know, I, I remember seeing the promo that they put out and, you know, there was so much nostalgia in that alone. It was a really, really good promo that uh, NASCAR and Craftsman ended up putting together for the truck series next year. But uh, I'm with you guys. I think, you know, it's it's way, way too early. This was just announced. Let's give it a year or two. And, and see where this partnership goes. And, uh, you know, then we'll go ahead and judge it from there. But hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, uh, Craftsman's here to stay for at least a good solid, uh, you know, half decade or decade or so. And, uh, you know, we'll see where the sport is in that time. You know, I, I'm sure there's many, many big changes coming to the sport in the next decade. So it's uh, going to be very hard to predict. It's hard to believe Camping World has already been around for as long as they have with Marcus and uh, the money that he's poured in. And, of course, we're thankful for that. But all good things must come to an end. 
And I guess I, if I'm doing the math right here in my head, it was 14 years for Craftsman, 95 to 08, and then 09 to 22 would be 14 years as well. So maybe there's some sort of pattern there. Maybe we'll see Craftsman back in for 14 years, and then Marcus can bring uh, Camping World back in whatever it would be, 2037 or something like that. So who knows what's going to happen in the future for the truck series. I just want to thank YouTuber Company Man for all my knowledge of Sears and Kmart. They, I love Company Man. Everyone yes. I mean, comes out with that stuff. It's awesome. 